Hello everybody, my name is Tokreva and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4. Still playing as Italy, still doing mighty fine over here. Um, I think I was waiting to buy a plus two advisor, yes I was, a statesman. We are dangerously highly overextended, but we are constructing all the cores we need. Mostly these two, and this one, and that one. They're all coming along, of course. Hopefully no one rebels in the meantime. Then after that, we can send in the missionaries. We finish our mission. There it is, create a fortress in Friuli. Uh, more on our trade, reduce overextension. It's a free mission, I guess. It doesn't give anything useful, but it's a free mission nonetheless. And we have some nationalists in Barca. Algerian nationalists. And they are friendly towards Portugal, apparently. Is Portugal supporting rebels? What? Oh god, a double stack. That could be problematic, if not that it's... Not that strong. They have ooh, a 252 and a 101 leader. Which is a weird, little bit weird in itself, but okay. I guess. Build improvements. Dry docks, docks. Training fields. Oh wow, Friends actually has a decent sized uh, manpower as already. I'll build some there then. Yeah, here you can see how incredibly um, weak rebels are. Just lost six, just over five thousand men there. Of course, need to be uh, remaxed, but should be fine. Marketplaces. Um, Austria declared war upon Augsburg, which is an elector in the uh, Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, give us some more trade power in the Constantinople zone. At least that's where I think Tarnovo uh, respect our flag. Uh, we must get ready. Again, the French. Fine. The thing is, we already had that one going on. Yeah, it's Constantinople, where we have 61% of the trade power. We have also 85% over there in Alexandria. Almost everything is being pumped toward Venice from there. Do I have any trade bar here? I actually have 70.8 because of the uh, strength of my Alexandrian node as well. Wow. Well, we have 87% in Tunis, so I, I am going to need more merchants in a while. First one I think I'm going to send to the Yemen zone here, the Gulf of... Uh, Aden, with 20% uh, strength, we can pull a lot more money into Alexandria than we currently are. So, Kerkilesi. Well, not completely unexpected, of course. We'll send in the army all the way from Treviso. Probably gonna drop through some territory with lower... Uh, Supply limit, so we're gonna take a little bit of attrition on the way there. Which is unfortunate, but has to be dealt with. See here. Oh, this is just bullshit. That sun drop here, because... Wow, we already lost 12,000 men. Now we have people in Jerba. Oh yeah, the Portuguese are deaf. Wait, what? How high was that chance here? 0.9% and they rise. Of course they do. They'll be there shortly. Is there... Oh wait, they ha will have enough uh, an endurance. I'm gonna set them there. Okay, let's go to endurance. We did lose a lot of people there in that fight. Um, what are we doing on fervor anyway? Stability and trade. I'm gonna turn off trade because we're low on fervor. Sophia, Turkish Patriots, of course they do. 
Uh, also in places where it's barely any uh, revolt risk so far. So the 0 0.9 is actually just getting stuff done, which is annoying. Of course, overextension will be gone momentarily. And then, wow, almost the same amount of time needed to go to Barca and to Kerkulesi. But as soon as it's all, all the overextension is gone, it should be fine again with most of these revolts risks. Back to a Dern. To actually have some people going on. Hans has claimed the title Defender of the Protestant Faith. Ah. Polish Conquest of Ostprussen. Lithuania, France. But not Russia at least. Well, I'm still gonna decline because, um, yeah, screw them. I'm gonna decline that. I don't need them anymore. Gonna break royal ties, which will lose us a stability, but that should free up a relationship for me as well. Which um, I think we're gonna go for. No, Poland doesn't want to. France has cancelled military access. Really, Portuguese peasants? What in the world are you thinking? Recall the diplomat from France. Bohemia really loves us for some reason. Edirne and Sedone have been converted. And, oh wow, yeah, I'm gonna start on Edirne. And I'm gonna boost stability. 154. That should help us with is the speed it takes for Edurn to convert. Also, how much would it be for it to... Uh... It's already harshly treated, so... Oof. Benign neglects. They can do things on their own. Edurn, we have some nationalists, but we have the army right there to catch them. So let's just start on Sedone as well. Ulm has announced Switzerland as their new rival. Is there any any more revolt risk there? Algerian nationalists have started sieging as well. Bloody annoying. These people are everywhere. Ah, revolts, revolts, revolts. That is what we have to deal with right now. Barracks in Firenze is actually very, very good. But we're already losing a lot of money. Mostly because we're trying to reinforce too many people simultaneously. We need 20,000 more then. Okay, overextension is gone. Create a fortress in Lombardia. Five army tradition. We're almost at maximum anyway. Which is fine. But... Um, I'll still take the mission. And send one to Barca for now. Oh, hopefully we don't get a peasants war. That would be really bad. You, there's a chance for peasants war to break out when you're really low in manpower. Because more and more people will want need to be used to replenish the manpower. Okay. So now we're converting a couple of places and that should eventually help us out as well also we need oh man why is it so expensive to reinforce right now that's just so weird i mean it's 63 but we don't have any manpower to reinforce so why is it so high also let's reduce inflation now it's above at, or at two which is a very good point see now it already gets cheaper to re reinforce them Navies, yeah, we need bigger navy again. So I need to wait, but I really need my manpower right now. Oh, they love us, but they have way too many great power allies. They have um, Lithuania, France, Genoa, Russia, and the Hansa. We only have Bohemia and the Hansa as, as allies at this moment. 
Could I ally France? Probably never again. Spain were rivals, so we're each other's rivals actually. Russia actually does like us. Also, no alliance because we have too many great power allies for Russia. Which is a bit odd. We could royal marry them. And I actually don't mind that at all. Um, lose one prestige or lose a lot of money for 33 power in everything. I think that's too expensive with our current money flow going on. But it is increasing now that we are reinforcing again. So that's a good thing. Yeah, hang on. Oh, you're not actually completely. Yeah, you're doing fine there. You need 74. Unit weight. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's doing fine. Revolts are quite low now. Just uh, Sedone mostly. Kirkelisi, Idern, Barca, Crane, Savoy, and Tarnovo. Oh! Wait, what? Portuguese peasant? Well, they're in Sedone again. So let's go to Sedone. Where the bloody hell did those peasants? Jesus, where are you freaking going every time? I have no idea. I really don't get them, those peasants. Um, I think we need more frigates again, light ships, yeah. Because we are a bit behind on our force limits. What do we have anyway? 30, 0, 17. You know what? The 17 are outdated actually. Because I did take the millet, the diplomatic tech. Which means that we have the chip back available. Established cantonments, 102 manpower for 60 ducats. Even though it's in Barca, I really like it. Trade protection. Hunt down the privateers that harms your trades. Huh. So manpower is at 51. Despite the distant overseas and all the other penalties. Okay, Battle of Sedon has been won. No longer claim Nice, Bijaya, Biskri, and Koni. Re wow, how can we... Oh. Okay, I get that we lose these two cores because those were the, the Italian territories, but... These other ones are a bit silly to be losing. Let's start with Biskra. I want to claim as much as I can here. 71, uh, that'll be fine for a while. Um, Sedone, under attack from the Portuguese peasants. They are just acting weird. They're actually acting out, I would say. Um, ooh, cheap to build galleys. Let's build 30 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 13 and 14. Eratida. Uh, four more. One, two, three, and four. 30, 30 big, 30 small. 15 transports. That should be fine for now. And then it's just frigates, frigates, frigates. But again, we need more money for that, so... Oh, we've reinforced most of our army, so... Soon we shall be in a better position again when it comes to reinforcement cost. And we're down to three a month. Oh, that's better. When are the loans coming due? 79. We've got a full year. We should be able to get to that point. To have that amount of money. We had just now, but then I decided to buy, or build at least, um, all those uh, small ships. We definitely should improve relations with the Hansa. No, 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 not send a warning. Improve relations. 
Um, I'd like to gain the prestige right now. It's actually a good, better idea. Russia, form an alliance 121 versus 153. Let's improve relations back up to maximum. Ukraine, Austrian patriots. And. Wow. There are quite some provinces that don't support the army here. Oh well, let's get going. Uh -huh. The galleys are getting finished. Which is of course a good thing. There are actual pirates now in the Genoa node. And they're French pirates as well. Um, shelter ports... Um, actually... I think we're going to go for another Diplo tech, mostly because of the change with uh, the 1.7 patch, that if you're ahead on time on administrative or diplomatic tech, you get a bonus to their respective stuff. Oh, our Admiral just died. So if you're ahead, you get 20 trade efficiency, which is really good for us. But I wonder if we're actually going to be ahead or not if I take the tech right now. Uh, we'll take it. Also, that gives us better big ships, and... Is that the best one we can build? No, not yet. The three-decker is still... Yes, we are ahead, so we get plus 20% trade efficiency. Battle of Crane. Limes. In 1614, a rather mad physician wrote a treatise suggesting that scurvy was a result of a dietary problem and could be solved by consuming lemon or lime juice. As it turns out, there was method in his madness and we have started providing this new diet for our sailors. Other countries call us limey now. In conquest against Spain, three de two decker trebacle, settler growth increase, naval maintenance modifier increase, naval morale increase, no longer was staying out at sea each month. So staying on the seas actually doesn't contribute anymore to the um, um, attrition penalty. Despite having a, despite paying forty for maintenance right now on uh, reinforcing my army, which is just, just uh, I'm going really now they discover us. Oh well, okay, we're gonna keep our loan indeed. Um, in that case, don't we get to build? Yes, a barracks here. And the barracks, no, not yet. Regimental camp in Roma. That's plus 96, same as Lombardy actually. So we should get those up as well. Just increase our monthly manpower. Wow, just trekking across here is just... Okay, how can we get our supply limit up? Is that by... Yeah, it's fortresses. I'm going to have to build more fortresses in this area. Because this is getting a little bit out of hand. Changing cultures. We don't have to do it in these areas because they are already Lombard anyway. Um, opinion. No longer claim Maros or Somoji. Um, sure, I'll recall you. Culture map mode. Berber. 153 manpower, really. It's not... Oh, these are not considered distant overseas. This one is, but this one is not. Then is Tunis is not distant overseas. Jerba is distant overseas. Okay, I'm going to do a... Um, test here. I'm going to test to see what happens if I culture convert Constantine and then see what happens in Gafsa with the uh, with that particular modifier. Berber here. Tuareg there. It's a bit odd, but okay. Missionary is almost done in Barca actually, which is perfect for us. Time. Berbers. Hmm. Oh well. Lots of Greek culture, actually. The fact that we still haven't accepted Greek culture is a bit annoying. Again? God freaking damn it, France. Stop it. 
This is getting really annoying. I, I have to take the stability hit now. I don't want to drop my prestige so much so often. Oh wow, diplomatic tech is actually ahead of uh, military tech by now. So we'll get military tech then. Uh, which gets us a better cannon. So I'll get the better cannon, the Coolhorn Mortar. Or Coolhorn. Yeah, we are gaining... Okay, I'm going to build six frigates right now. To add to these 14. Actually, why am I building them bark out, really? Right when it's at 96% as well. Okay, four, five, and six. Which means we'll have to send our army across again. Which will cost us a lot of manpower again. Uh -huh. <sighs> anyway. Um, Russia, do you want to ally us now? Nope. Still too many people. Oh, hello. The peasants are back. Let's see what they'll do this time. Oh, it's now a stack of three instead of two. Scary. No, maybe I should just enforce the peace with them. Wait, what? Um, fear of Italy, but there's no fear against the Portuguese ones. Our royal marriage with Bohemia has ended. Are you kidding me? Uh, slipping standards. Okay, they are offering it to us. I will take it. Our use of naval fighting instruction has allowed us to put up fearsome blockades of enemy coast, but at the moment our sailors are just getting lazy. Uh, I'll take the blockade efficiency for five years. It's a much better I point right now. Barca has almost been converted though. Well, we did take the stab hit, so... Well, Edirne is still going to be completed in 87. Yeah, I think I should go... Mm, but I also want to get the tech up. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. Let's just boost our stability again. Lombardia needs a better fortress, so I should build it there. Also, I need more... Um, Barca. Oh no, the peasants have attacked us. We've converted Barca. Okay, one, two, and three. Nope, three. Can we seriously build a level... We can build a level two fortress somewhere. Okay, um, you're gonna convert there. Oh, excellent. These ships are done. Um, let's all go to Silistria then. Including you guys. You are trading Constantinople, yeah. Let's re-up you to a uh, 20 strong fleet again. There we go. Constantinople will give us... 195.4. Yes, let's do it. Also, we're going to... Yeah, that's... We're going to need to regain... A trading fleet to do a Genoa node because we are lagging behind over here on France. Really, the trade power is so low. Embargoed by France. Oh, hello. Um, we're not embargoing our rivals. A rival. Who is not our rival right now? Oh, France is. Fran we never picked France as a rival. I have to check on that in a second. First, of course, army, go next door. France, are you not my rival? No, they're not. But it cost me 100 to change rivals. I think it does. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I do need to... Um, the French army is 148% stronger than ours. Bohemia has no navy, but I don't want to rival them. Yes, this is probably the beginning of the end. Also, this means I can start embargoing them. Which should up our trade power as well. Persia revoked the embargo. 
And I don't think we need to embargo these guys either anymore. 103. Hang on. We could actually get to positive relations with, with Austria. Austria would not trust Italy to die properly. Well, good to know that one. We can go next door. Missionaries are still working out. Diplomacy, improve relations. There we go. We can build more level 3 fortresses. Uh, let's see. Um, Slavonia needs one because that has a really low supply limit somehow. And Lika as well. So everywhere where we have those roads along this uh, coast we need that. Oh yeah, loans are coming due. Oh, whoops. 13.46. Uh, at least it's going down again. Marketplaces are available as well. But we're going to end the episode here. It's been... Mostly revolts this time around. Ah, oh well. Stupid manpower. We really needed to recover before we can do anything else. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and favorite and subscribe. It helps me out so I can keep doing all of this YouTube stuff for you guys to enjoy. I will see you guys later.